Hi, I'm Julie for the City of Lincoln Stormwater, and I'm ready to talk to you about how you actually purchase a less toxic option, because you figured out which insect is a problem, and it's time to go take care of it. Once you get to the store, you're going to be faced with hundreds of feet of aisles, and maybe as much as a thousand different products to choose from. Choosing the less toxic one requires a little bit of calming down and looking closely. On those shelves, you're going to find blue tags that are actually going to say less toxic with the product name on it. That is the place where you start. Then, you're going to go ahead and look on the label. The title and the pictures, they're swell, but they're marketing. It's not going to tell you what you need to know. You're going to go down further on that label. And in big black capital letters, there are signal words. And those signal words are going to tell you the level of toxicity to you and anybody else who's sharing the yard with you. If there is no signal word, you're ready to go. If there's a caution word, choose the one that says caution. That's the less toxic option. Now you're also going to notice on the label that it's got the active ingredient. When you open up the product, look at the instructions, and that's going to tell you for sure that that active ingredient is going to work on the pest that you've identified as a problem. It's also going to tell you which stage of life the insect that product is going to work on. So follow the instructions exactly. How much to use, when to use, when you get to apply again. When you don't follow the instructions, you've wasted time, money, and allowed that pesticide to roam free and find something else to do. Last, Always look for lures, traps, baits, things that wiggle in the wind to scare off birds. Those are all very less toxic and those work especially well. Check out the City of Lincoln Stormwater site for more information on how to be safe with the water, safe with the environment, and effective in what you need to do. Also available is Ask the Expert, where you can get the information that you need for what's going on in your yard.